Hi, Nicole here. Welcome to another video. Yes, today's video is all about the Rock and Roller Multi Cart. This is the R12. Now, this was a request video, and I'm so excited to dive in. So, let's get started. So, here is the 8 in 1 Multi Cart by Rock and Roller. I purchased this back in 2019. This is not a sponsored video at all. I just thought this is, has such great functionality for any working photographer or even videographer, someone that needs to load gear from point, point A to point B efficiently. This has been a game changer in my photography business. Okay, so once you receive the rock and roller, you'll simply be attaching the wheels. Now, when I was evaluating all the different carts out there on the marketplace, the wheels were a big thing to me because these are a no flat wheel, which is key because the capacity of this one is 500 pounds, but I still wanted to make sure that the wheels would never be an issue or a worry. Even though I probably would never load up to 500, it's always a nice thing to have in the back of your mind. They do make one that's a little bit smaller and the load is less, like 350. So I'll make sure I'll outline everything below just in case if you're researching, you can see what's best for how you're going to use it. So once it's set up, I simply pull down on this. It's a very like heavy duty wire string and you pull it down to lift it up. Okay, and it clicks into place. Same for here. Push that down, clicks into place. And now you have a very useful cart where I can load in photography gear, put a couple Pelican cases on here, light stands, backgrounds, and I'm good to go. There are two screws underneath that you'll see that you can undo. And by simply putting my two hands on either side, this can expand this is how far it can go. I've loaded gear this wide before, and it's again, a game changer, but you don't have to go from that small to the large. It, it will allow you to, there's a little um, clip at the bottom here. You wanna make sure it seeds. You could go any distance and kind of custom, customize the size that you need of the cart for that, for whatever project that you have. So once I started using this cart out in the field, going on location on photography jobs, the first addition I added was including bungee cords. And once I had bags all stacked up on this, so I'll just use, if I had my Pelican, if I was just wheeling this, no problem. But once you start stacking, so you have your sandbags, a pelican, maybe you have a light stand. Once you start rolling this across a parking lot, a busy parking lot or going up a ramp, you're gonna find things are starting to shift. So I purchased a whole bunch of bungee cords. So I use this throughout all different parts of my business, but the yellow ones, simply can attach to the bottom and swing around and attach to the front. But the next item that I purchased was this essentially like an accessory bag. So I can slip this over one of the bars and now I have all different pockets where I can store the bungee cords when I'm not using them. You could put a laptop in one of them. There's one that's deep enough and like little pockets made for car keys, items such as that, memory cards if you were using this on the location site. So that was an additional add-on. The latest thing are these decks. And so then obviously things don't fall through, kind of keeps it nice and tight. And the pack comes for the R12, you have two. So both of these together will be the full length, the full width of the cart. 
But if you just wanted to keep it at this dimension, you could just have this one deck. So I did this recently for a shoot and I'll just show you what the two decks look like. I'll just extend this out again. We have one deck and then oh, <laughs> can go up further. Oh, there we go. The second deck. And then that will attach, that will just sit right on there that has little wings to secure it in place. And now we have the full deck at the full width of the cart. This has been tremendously helpful for being efficient of my time for photo shoots and video shoots. So if I have a ton of gear, I always ask ahead if there's going to be access for a cart, if there's an elevator, um, those logistics when it comes to when I want to use this cart. Most of the time there's access, so I can simply pack everything in my car, pack everything from my car in the parking lot and wheel it in, same, break it down, wheel it back out. Before, I was always just walking back and forth and really needed a good, efficient tool to add to my kit, and this was great. So if you have any questions about the cart at all, there are more accessories as you go down the road with these multi carts. I've been adding on as I go in for the need of my business. So I just wanted to show you since 2019 to today, how I've been adding on to it for my own business, um, but happy to add, answer any questions that you may have. And until next time, have a great day.